Shalom. I want to start by saying Barakah Theyahawah, Barakah Theyahawah Shai, Barakah Theyahawah, Bahashim Yahawah Shai, Bahashim Rukakudash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and enough respect to the brothers that are out there pushing and spreading the truth to the four corners of the world. Um, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahawah Shai, uh, I found this article that the brothers um, posted on a group chat. Um, entitled Nick Cannon dropped by Viacom CBS after calling black people the true Hebrews. Okay. Performer Nick Cannon was dropped by Viacom CBS on Tuesday, yesterday, after he refused to apologize for anti Semitic comments made on his podcast. Continuing, it says Cannon made the comment while interviewing former public enemy member. Uh, Professor Griff, on a June episode of this show, Cannon's class, Griff was fired from the rap group after a 1989 interview in which he blamed Jewish people for the majority of wickedness that goes on across the globe. He was right, but he was fired, okay? They stripped him of, 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 the, uh, uh, um, of, the, of his riches. Okay, now like um um one of the brothers uh Elias Shai said that you oh um uh, Haran, you know said that um you cannot sign a, a deal with the devil okay and then speak out against the devil it doesn't work that way he won't allow it okay so these these jays that that you know has sold out you know um who who went against vanity um who went after vanity and, and deceitful lust okay. And, and took um, the the offering of of the of the devil and became their servants. Okay, coming to the truth is going to be way harder than them. For the, it's going to be way harder for them. Okay, they are rich according to this world, and the riches what Esau gave them. This was not from the Lord. Okay, continue it says um, Griff was fired from the group. Uh, from the rap group after a 1989 interview which he blamed Jewish people for the majority of wickedness that goes on across the globe. Cannon said that the Semitic people are black people. Okay? You can't be anti-Semitic when we are the Semitic people. Cannon continued, and he was right. This is true. When we are the same people they want to be. This is also true. That's our birthright. That's some point. Cannon also said that black people were the true Hebrews. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and truth, which has been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Alright? Now... Second Corinthians chapter 10, right? Starting from verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, and bring and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of 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 Hamashiach. Okay? So these right the reason they're taking um okay before I make that point um I'm gonna go ahead and, and get to this part. Alright. Right, this tweet about him um it's actually quoted better here so you you can follow along. Um so it's truly disturbing that Nick Cannon will use this platform to perpetuate false anti-Semitic conspiracy theories and lift up um, the 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 vehement <laughs> so like the the vehemently anti anti-Semitic Louis Farrakhan um, Green Black wrote the part with, okay right he should apologize immediately and educate himself on why his comment is so harmful okay educate himself now you know okay notice how the the scripture says that 
um, for, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal and, and are mighty through, you know, um, Yahweh Bashim Hashai to the pulling down of strongholds, okay? And one of the strongholds of this society, of this kingdom, is deceit, it's lies and deceit. Okay, and they don't want it to be pulled down because if the if the lies and the deceit gets pulled down, <laughs> the the kingdom is falling. All right, and they don't want that. They will be losing their birthright. Okay, and the witchcraft that they have on people will will no longer be in effect, and they and they're going to be falling from power. And this is all what through is possible through through um, the Most High, because no man can bring down a kingdom. Through, by talking, no man can do that except the Lord be with you. All right. Now going into um, the the dude calling the Nikan and um, calling them an uneducated, who in their right mind takes all these all these measures? Okay, all these uh, what you call it? All these all these measures? All all these? Uh, I don't even know how to put it, but doing everything that they can to silence a fool. Okay. If, if he's a fool, why would you go through all these trouble? Why would you go through all these trouble, wasting all these resources, this time, you know, disrupting whatever it is you're doing in, in the show business, whatever it is, just just to penalize him, making sure you have the whole people to hate against him. You, you, you're scheming, okay, trying to f hurt him in every possible way you can. You're going through all that trouble for a fool? It's, it, it's unrealistic. Okay, he's not a fool because what he said was actual. There's truth to it, and they they fear it because what they, we are pulling down strongholds and also um, in um, Revelations, Revelations chapter twelve actually, yeah. twelve verse um, started from um, verse nine, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan adversary, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and kingdom of our God, of our power and the power of his, uh, of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. The accuser of our brethren is Esau Edom. Okay. Accused of our, and our brethren is, is Israel, is cast down, which accuses them before our God day and night. Verse 11. And they, okay, being a prophet, the one third, overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their life unto death. Okay, they overcame him, Esau Edom, by what? The word of their testimony, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony. So deep down, they know that this, this isn't, we're not stupid. This isn't stupidity. They know that there's strength in it. And it's something that they can't fight against and it's vexing them. All right. So when they come out here and tell you that, oh, you're fools. Don't look, don't believe it. Don't, 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 don't get swayed. Okay. Don't, don't have your morale. You know, don't let them waver your, your morality. Okay. Be firm. Because everything they, they say is to deter you from it. And nobody goes through this much effort to discredit a fool. Nobody does that. They, they, they want to keep this kingdom. They want this kingdom to stand forever. They want this blessing, but it's not going to happen. And that's why they, they're doing everything that they can. But it's, it's still, it, really, it's still not working. All right, and he's not the first celebrity that's come out and, and said this. A lot of them are waking up to that. A lot of them know it. A lot of them, Ice Cube, for example, a lot of them are making th these statements, are bringing this out, and, and they can't fight against it. That's why they're doing everything that they can to hurt it. Now, concerning um, Esau, you know, stripping them of their riches, it also says that in the scriptures. All right, um, Matthew. Um, Matthew chapter 19, starting from verse 23. Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of, yeah, um, kingdom of God. 
for his disciples, for when, when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who can be saved? But Yahushai held them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. Okay, like I said, just bringing down the destruction of a kingdom through the through, by talking isn't isn't you know it's impossible, but with Yahweh, okay, but with, but with Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, all things are possible, okay, but by the blood of the Lamb, okay, and by the testimony of His word concerning the Most High and His will, okay, this will prosper. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold. We have forsaken all. We have forsaken everything and forsaken thee. What shall we what shall we have therefore? Alright? So the reason the, the, the Lord is saying, you know, it, it, the, the scriptures is saying or oh, that it it's it, it, it's a very 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 difficult, more difficult than an than a uh, um, a camel passing through the eye of the needle. That that small passage, okay, that 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 <laughs> is because they're not willing to give up everything, okay? Look, here it is. When you see a poor man, right, or who's not in the truth, they do everything that they can. They do everything that they can. They will take every avenue. They will explore every avenue. Any opportunity that they can, they, they will jump on it, okay? To, just so they can get rich. Just so they can get rich. And so if you, so if they finally get it, they're not going to let it go away that easily. They're not going to let it go. Okay? They Once they let it go, <laughs> they can't also promise that they will never come back to it because now you actually know what you're missing. So... <laughs> It's going to be very difficult. Now, it said that he refused to apologize. Um, right here. Said he refused to apologize. Um, so like, bear with me for a minute. Right. After he refused to apologize for the anti-Semitic comments, all right, and this is a huge step, but there is way, way more steps to be made. There is actually, <laughs> there's a lot more on a rich man, okay, someone who has riches at his fingertips. Because we've been posting videos, you know, weekly for years, okay, Our brothers always have a video out, right? There are so much videos that you can never, in, in one day, that you can't, it's impossible for you to watch all of them, okay? It's impossible for you to watch all of them, and you're missing a, 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 a lot of them. But, we, we, yeah, we get headaches, but not as much as him. He said one sentence, and the next day, look at what happened. The next day, everything got stripped, got, he, he got stripped of everything, Okay? His fans, people that like him, oh, you anti-Semitic, oh, fuck you, or all of that, okay? Everybody hates him now. So, imagine him freshly coming into the truth. Not knowing so much that, you know, his, his faith, or, or not knowing um, so much that doubt can never, you know, waver him or, or sway him. And on top of that, he has to deal with all, all this pressure. Okay, all, all this, this talk, okay, it's it's gonna be it's nearly it's gonna be impossible. It it almost right. That's why it's gonna be very difficult. But hey, he said it, and it's true. Okay, like um, Ezekiel, the the prophecy in Ezekiel, but Esau is really getting hurt. Okay, he's really getting hurt. He's afraid. 
um, Ezekiel chapter 47. Um, right, now this is concerning the truth. All right. Um, it says, and when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits. And he brought me through the waters, the vision that Ezekiel had. And the waters were to the ankles, okay, to the truth. That the truth is the waters, the living waters, all right? It's to the ankles. It's not really a big deal, right? Let's keep going. It says, again, he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees, okay? So it's, it's, it's slowly creeping up. Again, he measured a thousand and brought me through. And the waters were to the loins, all right, to the thighs, to the hips. Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over, for the waters were risen. Waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. All right? This is this truth. It's lighting up. It's, it's flooding this earth. It's, it, it's creeping up to, every, to the four corners of the world. It's creeping up to every place. And everybody's heard it. That's why these celebrities are coming out here and speaking forth. And that's why Esau, <laughs> hey man, Esau, Esau is over for you. It's over for you, okay? It's really over for you. This is also why, you know, his wrath, he's going to come down with great wrath. Because if he can't stop this, then he's going to have to wipe everything away. Just just go down fighting. That's going to be his mindset. But, you know, um, this is a um, very, very uh, heavy, you know, topic that I want to... Um, that I found and I wanted to touch on, um, you know, but bottom line, look, the truth, this is the truth, okay? Like Emilio said, if this is of men, it'll come to a knot. It's going to die out, okay? But it's, this isn't of men. This isn't the Black Panther Party. This isn't a gang. This is whatever it is not. It's truth. It's spiritual. It's really tearing down strongholds. Now it's high time to, to wake out of sleep. <sighs> this place. First Thessalonians chapter 5, starting from verse 1. But of the times and season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For, for yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as they travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor darkness. Therefore let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the, light, in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet... The hope of salvation. All right. So, you know, that's pretty much summarizes it. This truth is, is, is you know, it's hot. It's, it's growing. It is a river now. It, <laughs> there's going to be a mass awakening. And you have to, like I said, don't be sober. Don't sleep. You woke up. Stay woke. Keep learning. All right. Don't let no man take your crown. 
grow. When you grow, what are you doing? You put it on the breastplate um, of faith and love and front helmet, the hope of salvation. Okay, so with that, I, I hope edification goes out to the brothers that are listening. And I want to say shalom, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Brakatha, to the few aquas that are listening in sincerity uh, and in truth. Okay, I also want to say shalom, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Brakatha. So with that, on to the next one. You know what he's going to do? He's going to be a coward and say, yeah, I apologize. Yes, man, I see you got me. No, man, you got to stand up as a man. Stop being a little bitch, bro. Stand up as a man and speak the truth, bro. That's what it's about. At the end of this day, at the end of the day, we're at the end, at the end of times, man. Now is the time where people got to stand up and speak the truth, man. You got to be a man. Stand up. We're at war, bro. You know what I'm saying? What is this all about? There's a video, this dude, clown ass dude, talking about how Grandmaster J, hey, if you ain't stand up like Grandmaster J, then you ain't about this thing, man. Oh, you got people talking about where Israel, uh, they're Israelites, where Hebrews, where, the, where this, uh, you, all these woke people on the internet, man. You ain't stand up like Grandmaster J, so you ain't nothing, man. Bro, what are you talking? He said, oh, nah, we ain't Israelites, man. We black, man. Get up, you black people, man. I'm like, you see, you're, 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 you're stuck in the congregation of the dead, man. And guess what's going to happen? When Esau comes in, the Lord is not going to raise up the standard for those who call themselves black. Those who, who represent Grandmaster J. Grandmaster J is going to slip behind the back if he doesn't get shot by Esau. He's going to slip behind the back and push everybody in there and say, yo, take him. That's what's going to happen, man. But those who stand on this side, who praise Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, in truth and in sincerity, he will fight for us, man. And we believe that. All right, that's why we come out here and we speak this truth so boldly because ain't nothing Esau could do to us, man. Living in this world is hell. If anything, we wait for this 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 dumbass, this devil to come get us up out of here, man. Right. Because what, what happens when we die, guess what? We're living. We're with Yahweh Shai at the end of the day, man. All right? Living here is like, is like we're just waiting for, for something to happen. But Yahweh Shai said, what? He's going to lift up a standard, man. So that's what we're waiting for. That's called spiritual power. All yeah, right? That's why the scripture says that they love not their life until the death. God. See, guys like Deshaun Jackson and... Uh, uh, and uh, Ice Cube, mm -hmm. uh, Stephen A. Smith, because like Stephen A. Smith, no, we are no, 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 Israelites, no, no. but he was trying to deflect from that too. And somebody came on his comment board, whatever, on, on Instagram, he was like, "We the original Jews." He said, "It's not about that." See? So like, <laughs> so what is know, it about? He, he knows what yeah, these people they know, but it's because they love their life and they're rather this life than uh, rather than standing up for for the truth. Mm -hmm. So that's why this certain man who said that they overcame the him, the him being the dragon, he saw Edom, they overcame him what? By the blood of the lamb, the Yahweh Shai, that sacrifice, and by the word of their testimonies. And they love not their life until the death. Everybody doesn't have that. Lord didn't give that gift, that's that, that gift of not loving your life until the death. That's a, you, you think about it, that's a crazy, you know, it's, a, it's an outlandish mentality to have. Like, yo, I don't care about this life. You know what I mean? I don't care about this life. I don't care about living, but we have something that why we don't care about it, right. and we and what and what we what we desire is actually as Paul said, we don't desire to die, but we rather desire to be changed and clothed with the with that uh, with that uh, body that's immortality. See, that's what makes that's what makes us not love this life because we know that in this life we're not from this life. You know, with the, the life that we have coming to us is going to be far more better than this this life. But people like Deshaun Jackson, they don't see that because of the of their consolation in this world, which right. is this riches. Right. That's why Yahweh Shai said that. Woe to the rich, for you have received your consolation. Mm -hmm. Even if he tried, he tried if he tried to, you know, say something, but what did Esau come do? Esau pressed him. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau made him like, you might have got a call from his PA or somebody like, yo, you know, you don't want to go down that road. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll take this from you, we'll take that from you. You know, but what about your family members? They're counting on you. They're counting on all this money that you're making. And he's like, oh, oh. I'm, I'm sorry, but he, Esau can't. You can't threaten us with nothing. But we gonna threaten us with. That's why Yahweh Shah said, "What? Fear not him that can kill the body, because that's the only thing you really can threaten us with." But we don't even fear that either. So what you, you gonna say? I'm gonna take away your job? No, well I don't want to work anyway. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's nothing you can do that can really get at us, and that's why they don't really want to come at us. Yeah, just like directly yet. Mm -hmm. They gotta come at us in a demonization way. Right. Esau never gonna come straight up because they know that we you know how they say it, you never wanna fight a somebody that they don't got nothing to lose. Yep, right, he right. got nothing to lose, like uh, you gotta stay away from him. Right. That's 144,000 men that you dealing with, man. Mm -hmm. uh, people that don't got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. But we got everything to gain, you know, and, and this is how we gain it. You're right. not taking away from us, man. Right. Not in the elect in the um in the kingdom sealed. Absolutely. You know, solidified. Uh, uh, man, I bring this piece here real quick. Uh, First Timothy six and eight. Mm -hmm. It says, "And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Mm -hmm. But they, they that will be rich, fall into temptation and a snare. Mm -hmm. And that's the snare that Deshaun Jackson fell into, man. 
and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Man, all those hurtful lusts is all, all the goodies he got, man. Because not for nothing, Deshaun Jackson's not even the best receiver, but he's one of the best. But like, he still has a good enough life to like, if he if it's taken away from him, that's gonna hurt his pro that's gonna hurt his his whole being because because he he I mean like just look how much it got how, how much traction it got from that little one little post. Here it is, we've been posting stuff like that all day. All for, for years, yep. but he posted that's something, that's something, and that, and, that, and that wasn't even about nothing, man. But it's what he said about the whole being uh, the white people, the white motherfuckers not being the real Jews. Mm -hmm. That's what really he had to apologize for, man. Because they don't care about you saying, Oh, what the Negroes go through, but the fact when he said that they're not the real Jews and we are, that 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 that, that was a no no, and that's when he got that call from his publicist, and probably somebody even higher than that. He probably got a call from the owner, yo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you, you, you fucked up. And now, and now we, because uh, uh, they originally tried to say, oh, well, nothing's gonna happen to him. We're not gonna release him, but something has to be done. So, but what, what did he do wrong? That's, exactly. that's, that's